This place, the Colombia's Palace of Justice, was the scene of one of the most traumatic events in this country's history. Now, after 30 years, and for the first time since this building was sieged and set on fire, a Colombian president has publicly apologized and acknowledged the state responsibility in the events. Today, I acknowledge the responsibility of the Colombian state and apologize for those who were forcibly disappeared. The unprecedented statement came in compliance with an order from the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, which in 2014 convicted the Colombian state for the illegal detentions, torture and execution of civilians that took place after the military violently retook the Palace of Justice from the M-19 guerrillas occupation. The fact that my father was found is exclusively due to the efforts of my family and friends to find him. My father was meant to be disappeared and then we would be part of those relatives that still don't have a body to mourn. Particularly for the relatives of the 11 people who were forcibly disappeared, today's statement came as a somehow abstract apology that still lacks of what they have been seeking for, the truth. They should have enough pants to say if my sister died while being tortured or if she was executed and where they have left the body. We cannot forgive or accept an apology when they haven't told us for what exactly they are apologizing. Now the victims have made it clear that the responsibility should not just be acknowledged by the state as a whole, but by all of those who specifically played a role. El ex -presidente Belisario de Tancur Cuartas. The president back then, Belisario Betancur, never assumed his responsibility. His ministerial cabinet that covered up the events and the military leadership that openly tortured and disappeared our relatives. In that regard, the Attorney General has already called into questioning the back then Ministers of Communications, Justice and Interior for the events related to the Palace of Justice siege. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.